Hi! A beautiful effect to show four photos and their explanation goes like this. Can you see on a click we have a photo introduced and the corresponding explanation is made. It's a very interesting effect and it can be used in n number of ways. This is actually a follow up video to a similar video that I created earlier which has a very different effect altogether where a hand pulls down the explanation. I will leave a link to that effect in the description box below the video and also in the iCard. If you have not watched that, you can watch that next. So let us learn how to create this interesting effect from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The first step is to create the frame for the photo. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this one called as Circle Hollow and then hold the Shift button down and draw the circle like so and then place it over here and then reduce the width by moving this yellow handle to the outside. So that is the frame. The next step is we need to give this the color that we want. In this case, I want to give this dark teal color. Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Then we need to have a circle that fills this frame. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the Oval tool, hold the Shift button down as you draw a circle like so and place it. Now make sure that when you right click and send this to back that it totally covers and fits inside the frame. Now let us give this a light teal color like this. Let us select both of these shapes and ensure that they are aligned properly. So let us go to Align Middle and Align Center. Now that looks good. The next step is to have a picture that cover this area so this moves down. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the Oval tool once again and then hold the Shift button down and have a circle. Maybe this is a little too big. Let us place this right on top of the previous one and then hold Ctrl and Shift so you are able to adjust the size properly. Now that is a proper size. Let us have all of these selected. Then go to Align Middle and Align Center. Now that looks good. Let us select this, go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Now let us fill this with a photo of our choice. So let us go to Insert and then go to Pictures, Stock Images and I'm going to search for the picture of a bird. So let us go here and say Enter. Let us have the picture of this eagle and say Insert. Then let us go to Crop, Crop to Shape and have it as a circle. Then go to crop aspect ratio and say 1 is to 1. And then you can always click and drag the photo so you can readjust the focus. Now that looks good. Hit escape, right click, cut this and then click on this shape, right click and then go to format shape, go to fill and say picture or texture fill, picture source is clipboard. That's it. Now whatever you had cut is now pasted right inside that shape. Now the reason why I created a shape and then filled it with picture instead of having a circular picture placed right on top is it gives me more freedom to replace this picture without disturbing the underlying animation or the dimensions. You will see why in a few minutes. So now we have the photo. There is a placeholder behind and behind that is the frame. Now why did we choose the placeholder? The placeholder would need to come down so it reveals the text which is the explanation for the photo. Now to save you some time, I've already got the text. I'm going to place it right here and you can see that our smart guide is helping us position this properly. Now it is time to add animations. First, let us have this photo drop into the frame. So let us go to animations and say fly in and this flies in from top like so. And then we need to have a bit of bounce for a bit of drama. Go to animation pane and go to the animation event. Go to effect options and add a bit of bounce end and say OK. Now that is how it comes in. Now right after this comes in, we need to have the placeholder move down to reveal this text. Now I don't want this obstructing my view. So let us go to home, go to select and say selection pane. Select this photo and click on this eye icon so it is made invisible for now. Now this is the frame that I want to be moved. So let us go to animations and add motion path animation down. So that is how it comes down. 
and then let us go to animations and animation pane and add bounce to this one as well and reduce the duration two seconds is a little too much so let us have this say for around one second and then i'm going to add bounce effect by going to effect options and let me add a bit of bounce like so so that is how it comes down and right after it comes down i want this text to appear so let us select this and then say fade animation now if it comes after the whole animation finishes then it may look a bit dragging so let us select this and say with previous but let us introduce some delay so the end point of this corresponds with the end point of the previous animation let us go to selection pane once again and then say show all so we have the photo also shown let us close the selection pane we have three of these animation events first the fly in happens to introduce the photo then let us have this happen after previous or if you want this to happen with previous with a bit of delay that can be arranged as well so let us say with previous but then with a delay of 0.25 seconds and then right at the time this placeholder comes down we will have this text appear with a fade in animation so that is what we have shown here let us see all of this in action when i go to slideshow on a click we have the photo filling in the frame and it looks as if this bit is being pushed down by the photo so it reveals a text underneath i'm very happy with this result so let me select both of them and then move it slightly down so it is more towards the center then let me press ctrl d to create a duplicate and then place it right next to the previous one and then press ctrl d ctrl d again so we have four of these instances let us place them right in the center now the reason why i created one prototype and made multiple copies is i can replace this photo with any other photo without disturbing any of the setup let me insert a new picture so i can demonstrate that to you let us add some other bird here maybe i can insert this eagle now and say insert go to crop crop to shape circle then crop aspect ratio 1 is to 1 now this is properly framed i don't have to do anything else let me click outside right click on this cut and then select this right click go to format picture go to fill and then say picture or texture fill now the picture source is clipboard now the picture is replaced and the animation is still retained when i go to slideshow you can see this is the first one and this is the second one so that way i can always change any of these and have as many instances as i want if i want of course i can always change this frame color maybe i can use this orange color and as always we can move this and then have this in light orange color and then place this right back where it belonged and you do the same thing for the rest of the photos and the slide will look beautiful now let me show you three example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle where we take the same idea that i just showed you to the next level with advanced custom animation on a click you can see that the explanation is revealed from behind the photo this is a different way to do the same thing that we had done earlier but with a bit of drama the next example is four icons and text here we have replaced the photos with icons and the icons are introduced in style with a hand that comes in and then draws the placeholder and then reveals the icons and the explanation it's a very interesting effect definitely will draw the viewer's attention and hold it till the time you finish your slide presentation the final example is this where we have three photos and on a click we draw the attention to each of the photos like so and you can give your explanation for each of these photos if you don't have the time to create these kind of elaborate animations for yourself you can always get our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle which is a collection of more than 4500 premium powerpoint templates that will definitely add that professional edge to your presentations i will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video click on the link and check out more details